Hello beautiful Aries, these are going to be your messages for the next little while. So whenever whenever you feel drawn to them, uh, it's more likely than not that it will resonate with you. All right, I did things differently. This time I was just drawn to um, try something different. So let's see what we get. The phrase that came in for you, Aries, was uniqueness cannot be measured. Before that phrase was given to me, and I was con con uh, focusing on your energy, um, I was being taken to your solar plexus. And solar plexus has many meanings. For me, when I see solar plexus, it right away denotes uh, challenges around confidence. This is usually where we, we, this is where we hold our power. Well, long and behold, when I asked what chakra, uh, or what energy center you might be, you might want to pay attention to over the next little while, guess what? Solar plexus came up and it actually came up in reverse. So some cards I do reverse, so sometimes I don't. It just depends what I intuitively feel. In this case, it is, um, it is basically a repetition of what I was seeing in my meditation when I was focusing on your energy. So over the next several, over the next little while, um, you may experience lack of confidence in some area. For most of you, I feel this is going to be within a work environment. For others of you, it's going to be uh, perhaps in a relationship. But something will come up where it will either jar your confidence a bit or or you will begin to, or, or you will be, your confidence will be tested. Let's put it that way. Um, I want to say right off the bat that what I'm, in, what I'm saying here is nothing bad. There is nothing bad here that will happen. What is transpiring from what I see is a set of circumstances that will ultimately give you the ability and also the opportunity or the opportunity and then the ability to choose to do something differently than you have always, than you have been used to. Uh, it has a lot to do with rejection. So um, going back to the Seiko chakra, uh, not Seiko, sorry, solar plexus, um, you might experience digestive issues. You may have dealt with digestive disturbances for quite some time. If inner conflict in terms of self-worth is an area where you suffer. Uh, oftentimes, this internal emotional suffering um, comes out in a physical uh, in a physical way, as as we know, uh, emotions do impact our physical health. So, uh, particularly if you have had issues with digestion for quite some time, um, notice if your digestion challenges are not concentrated around times where your confidence is being tested because that's it's it, that's our guts our guts is what uh what uh, digests our emotions having said that if there is anything that comes about over the next little while that tests your confidence which by the way may uh, temporarily uh, disturb your digestive process choose to look at it as an opportunity to heal an old wound rather than something happening to you again. There is, a, um, I'm seeing somebody sweeping the floor. So to me, this is, a sheer, this is a sure sign that either you are going through a process of clearing out or it is being suggested that you begin to clear out some clutter clear out the cobwebs, clear out um, the dust, general idea of cleanse. So I'm not suggesting that anything bad is going to happen. I actually feel on the contrary. You might be put in a situation where um, somebody offers you something and your, your, your confidence about you kind of sh shrinks. Uh, somebody may offer you a great opportunity and the opportunity and how you see it may may reflect on your level of confidence and you may feel like you are not enough and you may shy away 
from something because you feel you may not be enough or you're not good enough. If that is the case for you, because obviously it's not going to be for everybody that are going to be uh, given an opportunity. If this is what transpires for you, then take this as a sign that the universe is giving you a message. And the message is, although you may not be confident and in terms of whatever it is that you're struggling with, the universe is presenting you an opportunity to test yourself, okay? Now, when I say test yourself, I mean taking a chance on something that although doesn't feel, that you don't feel you're up to it, taking a chance on it anyway, perhaps to prove yourself incorrect. In other words, taking a chance on something that ultimately brings you some value at the end of the day, but something that may have been too far out of reach. This can also be a relationship. You may be presented with an opportunity to uh, be in a relationship with someone and perhaps you see them as uh, good looking or pretty or beautiful or smart or educated and you may feel slightly intimidated. If that's the case, you you will need you would need to observe you know what the intimidation is all about and um, deal with it differently. Perhaps allow yourself to accept something that is out of your reach, perhaps, or until at least in the past, and allow yourself to go, you know what? If it's being presented to me, I'm gonna try it. So see the way it's coming out for me, there seems to be beautiful opportunities like the universe says to you here take it and you're like oh, i don't know if i should i don't know if i'm worthy i don't know if i can i don't know if i'm qualified um the reason why this is coming up because for most of you who are hearing this confidence is an issue and in my experience if you are a human being you have some issues with confidence on some level at some point to some extent so that's not new however depending on how severely you are not confident in a certain area and how that severity affects your life in terms of experiencing the fullest to the fullest potential to your fullest potential then this is a time where i feel many of you will begin to break that old story when I say old story, it's the story you tell yourself in your head. It's the, it's the conversation you have uh, in your mind uh, with yourself. It's the dialogue that you have, oftentimes going, goes, going unnoticed because it's in the back of your mind. And the stories you keep on repeating to yourself, like I'm not worth it, or, I'm not good enough, or this is not for me, or this is, you know, this is for other people or not for me. Just kind of notice over the next little while, what opportunities present themselves or what life brings to your doorsteps in order to say, hey, look, here's what I have for you. Are you willing to take the chance? So this could be opportunities in terms of uh, relationships. This could be opportunities in terms of jobs. This could be opportunities in terms of, um, you know, maybe somebody offers you an, an, an incredible opportunity to volunteer at first in a company that uh, somehow you feel is very established and very, you know, very up there. And um, you might initially feel like, oh, it's out of your element and it's not something that you're used to. When it's coming to you and it's presenting itself to you, chances are the universe thinks you can do it even though you feel you may not be up to the task, okay? Um, I don't want to get too much into it because it, 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 there could be so many different examples of this, but the word I get is opportunity. It doesn't have to be physical, financial, although for some of you it will be. It can come in a way of um, somebody offer you, offering you time on air, whatever on air is for you. Somebody offering you uh, an opportunity to be interviewed um, in front of other people or in front of camera where it will allow you to 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 be to express yourself yes but there's another word that it'll allow you to expand your ways to be seen in other words someone might come and say hey 
I see you're doing this and this. You're doing a really good work. Would you mind if I interviewed you? Because this is what I'm working on and I think your story would fit what I am working with beautifully. And at first you might go, oh, I don't know if, sure I'm if, I, if I'm up for that. Oh, I don't think I want to be on camera. Oh, I'm afraid of this or this and that. If this is you, and I do realize this may be just one person that I'm talking to, you need to hear it. If this is what transpires, if this opportunity knocks, in, knocks at your door, then chances are quite high that you are meant for it. All right. Now, I asked what's connected to this salt to this um, center, which I wasn't I didn't know at first that it was solar plexus until I opened all the cards after. So I basically, I basically said which um, which chakra needs to be addressed and what is connected to this chakra. So in your case is solar plexus. So king of coins in reverse is what came up. So there are several messages that just that came through for this one. Your lack of confidence may very well be connected to a male in your life present or someone who was present at some point. And um, this person would have been a, a father figure for some of you. For others of you, it might have been a mother figure. And I hear the word strict. So this person may have been very strict. They may have been very strict with their communication in terms of uh, valuing you. They may have been very strict in terms of expression of emotion. They may have been very strict with uh, praises towards you. They may have been very strict in terms of finances. They may have been uh, very strict within themselves or with themselves, uh, a, a rigid thinking, rigid belief system. So whatever that is for you, if this is someone in your past that has contributed to you uh, feeling the way you do about yourself, predominantly when it comes to lack of confidence, then it's time to let it go. Now, whenever I say it's time to let it go, there's Joanna part of me that says, well, that's easier said than done, right? Because if it was that easy, none of us would be walking around feeling sad. So how do you let something go when it's something that is essentially a part of your identity? And your identity, your ego, I believe is very much connected to your solar plexus. Okay, so how do you let go of that identity? I mean, if you've, you know, every aspect of you is part of your identity. It is what you call you. It is home. It is what's safe. It's what's familiar. It's like speaking a language and then somebody coming to you one day and saying, speak a different language. And you're like, I don't know how to speak a different language. This is my language. So how do you let go of something that has happened in the past? that have perhaps hurt you very deeply um, and it's affecting you, how do you let it go? Well, by allowing yourself to consider the fact that your lack of self-confidence, although maybe perceived as a weakness, is actually a strength in the making. What do I mean by that? If you were to imagine yourself being in a spirit world and you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to work on something you're trying to experience something one of the things you're wanting to experience is how do i feel about me and how it affects me my loved ones and my life and confidence affects everything everything um if you wanted to experience that, chances are you would have put yourself in a situation or in a position where you would experience lack of self-confidence. But in order for you to experience lack of self-confidence, you have to first have a belief that says that you are not enough. Therefore, if you have a person in your past who possibly was like a father figure or someone who was you know, very dominant, uh, this person has contributed to you having a certain belief system about you in order for you to experience lack of self-worth. So essentially what I'm saying is when you look at this person, whoever this person is for you, and you recognize this person as a piece in your puzzle that helps you gain what you came here to accomplish, then you look at your pain from the perspective of value instead of something that happened to you 
and made you feel good, bad or this or this in a negative way, okay? That is one very effective way how you let that go, by seeing a situation and looking at it from perspective of how did it serve me in terms of value. Everything we experience in life, doesn't matter how good or how shitty, has value from the spirit perspective. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. Everything is information. From the human perspective, it's very different because we look at things as good, bad, comfortable, uncomfortable, terrible, not good. You, you guys know the drill. The, um, the idea here is, like I said earlier, how do I let go of something that has deeply hurt me? Reminding yourself whenever you feel lack of self-worth or lack of self-confidence, that this is an aspect of you that you are currently experiencing, but it is not necessarily an aspect of you that you will experience forever. What it does, it does several things. Number one, it puts you in a position to accept the fact that you feel not, you do not feel confident because the alternative is you fight it. If you fight with something that is, and you can't change what is, at least not now, then you are in this perpetual inner war. Where there is war, there is no peace. So one of the first things that's being suggested here is to accept the fact that you feel the way you do. Not because it's bad, not because it shouldn't, not because of this or this and that. Simply accept the fact that it is what it is for now. Because only it, it is only with acceptance, the act of acceptance, that allows you to stop the inner fight. And the moment you stop the inner fight, you're able to push forward. So I'm hoping I'm explaining this. I'm hoping this is going to make sense. Um, but that is one sure way of letting go of an attachment to your past. When you recognize how your past has affected you in terms of positive. Now, recognition of it um, just one time won't necessarily completely shift you from being not confident to being confident. I mean, after all, you not being confident is part of your identity. So we have to grow into feeling more confident, which means taking chances, improving to ourselves things other than the things we have tried before. Why? To show ourselves that we're actually much more capable of, we're much more capable than what we think we can do. All right? So try that as an exercise, connecting your lack of self-worth in this case, to uh, almost like piecing the puzzle together, seeing where it comes from for, for you. I also wanna stress that when we look at things in terms of connections, we're not looking for them to blame because blame only keeps you stuck. We're looking at it in terms of observation so that we can draw value and wisdom from it. Once we see the value and wisdom, it's easier to move on. And then it's just a matter of remembering that, remembering that, remembering that. The reason why this is coming up, not because I have no other topics of conversations, but because there is an opportunity here to break this old pattern, okay? And it's a pattern, it's a pattern, it's a thought pattern. And ultimately, that allows you to become fulfilled. And what comes is the 10 of coins. Obviously, it's an earth energy, it's money focused. It, to me, it's an absolute card of independence and um, uh, physical, physical safety and security. But more than anything, this is home in terms of how you feel in terms of you. Complete, utter confidence, okay? So some of you have to face this person, whoever this person represents to you. It doesn't have to be a male. It can be a female. It could be someone who has influenced you in the past. Perhaps someone who is, who is in your life right now still. And it's kind of pushing your buttons of, you know, of insecurity. And um, recognizing that this is something that doesn't have to go on forever. It's something that you can choose to leave behind you. Um, by literally saying, by literally allowing yourself to go, you know what, I am done with this. And then deal with things accordingly. Now, my apologies for this. Somebody was watering something next door and it was way too loud. And 
I kind of asked a question, is this a message for me? Am I supposed to say something to them? Like, is this supposed to mean something more than what it is? And what I heard was outside noise or external distractions. Um, when we are distracted by outside noise, including the noise that's in our head, we get disoriented and disconnected from who we are. What do I mean by that? In order for you to feel at home, in order for you to have inner peace, in order for you to feel solid inside, content, you know, all those good feelings, you have to be able to shut out the outer noise, including the noise in your head. So what is this leading me to? It's leading me to Hierophant or faith. This isn't only about having faith. This is about having peace and finding it through your faith. Whatever your faith is, but what I want to say is this. You may have faith in spirit. You may have faith in God, whatever God means to you. You may have faith in the universe. You may, you may have faith in many things. You may have faith in your wife. You may have faith in your kids. But do you have faith in you? How faithful are you to you? Do you do things out of, um, out of, uh, what's the word I want to use, please? Um, uh, oh, there's a word. Do you do things out of obligation most of the time? Or do you do things most of the time because it's your desire? And I, and I understand that it's not, we can't always do what we want. That is not what I'm saying. That, that is, I would never ever say that. However, there is this there is this threshold when we do things for other people and we keep our needs to the side, eventually our needs are going to start becoming very loud and they're going to start screaming, hey, what about me? So why am I saying this? Because it's important to pay attention to your inner voice. And when you are distracted by outside noises, including the noises in your head, then it's much more difficult to hear what your you is trying to say. And if you can't hear what the you inside wants you to hear, then you are not very likely to do things in order to satisfy it because you're not even realizing what needs satisfying, okay? This card is a card of prayer to me. It's a card of faith. Um, but it's more than that for me. It's not belief in God. It's not belief in spirit. Yes, all those things, absolutely. But more than anything, this is this is faith and belief in you. How do you how do you develop faith and belief in you? Well, you test yourself, and if you look at your life, chances are pretty darn good that there has been at least some things that you've done really really well. There are some things that you've done yeah, not so well. There are some things that you'll never do again. It's what makes you a human. If you were to be perfect in a human body, you wouldn't be here. Besides, you're perfect, you are perfection as it is. No, not according to the human standards, but according to spirit. You are perfect as is. So, meditation, quiet space, listening to your inner voice which is where your guidance is. Um, time alone, in prayer, meditation, retreat, uh, healing circles, any, any form of practicing your faith. Also practicing faith to yourself. To yourself or about yourself? To yourself, okay? Uh, what do I mean by that? What does it mean to practice? What, do we, what does it mean to practice being faithful to you? Um, I don't know what it means to you, but to me it means listening to my own inner voice and doing my best to, um, to, to, to follow it. That's what it means to me. I don't know what it means to you, but you might want to think about that, okay? And um, living in the now, 
is, I feel, a very perfect message to kind of tie this all together. You'll never find peace in your past. You'll never find peace in your future. The only way you will find this peace is in the now. And that's just the way it is. You may have everything you desire and you still may have no peace in your heart. On the other hand, some people don't have very much. They're basically, you know, living, living from day to day or from paycheck to paycheck. Some would call it struggling, but they have peace. So how do they cultivate that peace? Because it is something that needs to be cultivated. They are grateful for who they are. They are grateful for all they have, even though they don't have very much. Because the alternative is to fight it. And again, the moment you fight something that is, if you can't change what is, you're in this perpetual war, which means when there's war, there is no peace. So I feel I wanna close with that. And if you choose to look at what I said, and put it to work, apply it in your life, do these exercises, remember, let it, let it trigger your memory. I feel, it's not what I feel, I know, I know, and I'm being asked to say this, I know that you will have incredible changes in your life. Beautiful ones, not negative ones. Remember, this is a message that comes forth because it's time. It's time and you are energetically, spiritually, universally, however you wanna call it, are being supported with that. So whenever you hear this message, notice if it applies to you right now or notice if nothing makes sense and then in two weeks, oh, it starts to make sense to you. And then come back to and listen to it again and see if you can pick up some bits and pieces because there is some there is some pieces of information that I feel are like keys, which to me keys is information, key is information, knowledge. And that key has the ability to open your heart. When we open our heart, we are much more able to receive. When we're not confident, we're closed off. When we're closed off, it's harder to receive. You guys know the drill. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna go on for too long. I think you guys get the gist of it. And um, yeah, I hope you like this. Um, this is how it's gonna be for now. Maybe the next message I do, it'll be different, I don't know. I am in the middle of change myself, so my confidence is also being tested as well. So you're not the only one. With that said, I wish you best of luck. Please take care of yourself. Um, there are six month uh, videos on Vimeo. That link is down below if you are curious as to uh, what's going what's gonna to transpire over the next few months. Uh, that link is there. And of course, if you would like to have a private session with me, that information is there as well. I trust you guys know how to find me. Thank you so much once again. I wish you best of luck. Please take care of yourself. Know you're worth it. And see you soon.